Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Curry. Today I'm going to show you how to make the real Jamaican curry goat. This dish brings together the Indian influence of curry dishes from South Asia with the peppery flavors of scotch bonnet peppers native to Caribbean cooking. Alright, we're going to start off with the star of the show, the goat. You need 3 pounds of goat meat chopped into cubes. I try to find goat meat that are more meaty instead of bony, but the bones also get us to a ton of flavor, so try to use goat meat with some bones too. Now we're gonna season the goat meat with 2 teaspoons salt, 1 teaspoon ground black pepper, 1 teaspoon whole black peppercorns, 3 tablespoons Jamaican curry powder, 1 tablespoon all-purpose seasoning, one medium onion slice, three scallion slice, six minced cloves of garlic, and one tablespoon fresh minced ginger. Also, we're going to add some scotch bonnet peppers to them, which we're going to finely mince. Now, you may be thinking, what kind of madness this man be on leaving the scotch bonnet seeds in there? You can take the seeds out if you don't like too spicy, but I like the heat, so I'm choosing to put them in there. Mix all that in the bowl so the goat is evenly covered. Look at them pretty colors. Put plastic wrap over the bowl and leave in the fridge for at least five hours or preferably overnight. All right, now remove as much of the seasoning from the marinated goat meat and set aside. Heat four tablespoons of vegetable oil on medium heat and add the two remaining tablespoons of Jamaican curry powder. Give it a little stir for a minute or two until it becomes nice and fragrant. You're gonna let the curry powder simmer on toast to release its flavor, but be careful not to burn the curry powder, which I've done in the past, trust me. So here we go, guys. Put the goat meat into the oil and brown it, turning frequently. What we're doing right now is just coating the meat with the curry oil, searing the meat and sealing all the juices in. Once the meat is browned, add thyme and two cups of water and bring to a boil. And let me tell you, you can't skip the thyme when you're cooking curry goat, no. Cover it, lower the flame and simmer for about one and a half hours. You see that? That is the boil I'm talking about. Ooh, smelling nice. You can see now that the curry goat has its own natural gravy. All right, now I'm gonna chop one medium onion and add it in there along with the seasoning used for marinating the meat we set aside earlier. So the curry goat will be cooking the scallion and thyme and all them things. Add two more cups of water in there and bring to a boil. Now prepare and add four medium potato cut into one inch cubes and two tablespoons of tomato ketchup. Simmer this on low heat for 45 minutes or until the meat is fallen off the bone. And there it is, oh that smell, that flavor, that curry goodness, it looks delicious. Whoa, I'm so hungry. You can serve it over some rice or even better with some roti or garlic naan. Fix it up real nice. Mmm, trust me on this one, this is the real deal Jamaican curry goat. Until next time, enjoy. Mm -hmm.